All right, say we're trying to calculate the standard enthalpy change for the combustion of one mole of benzene, C6H6 to CO2, and water. Well, we've been using Hess's law and the standard formation, standard enthalpy of formation for a number of different substances, but now we've actually shorted, shortcutted the system a little bit. In fact, we can actually find the delta H of a reaction by summing up the standard enthalpy formation of the products and subtracting from that the standard formation, standard enthalpy formation of reactants. Now in this case, we do have to balance the chemical equation first and find out the coefficient in front of both the products and the reactants to make this implementation of Hess's law much easier. So let's check this out. Say we're calculating the standard enthalpy for benzene, here's how we would do it. The first thing we would do is write out what the actual equation is. We are combusting benzene and forming carbon dioxide and water. In this case, that means the reaction is C6H6 plus O2 goes to CO2 plus H2O. Now you can throw in the liquid and the gas, etc., etc. But for now, this is what I'm going to stick to. Now, one thing we do have to do is balance this chemical equation. I know that I have six carbons on the left over here, so I'm going to need a six in front of the carbon dioxide there. Now, if I have six hydrogens on the reactant side, I'm going to have to have six hydrogens on the product side, so I'm going to put a three as my coefficient here. Now, technically, this is just about all that I need because I know that the standard formation of any elemental substance is going to be zero. So I don't really have to worry about that guy too much. But if I were to balance this, I believe it would be something like 7.5. Not as big a deal right now. Because we know that all we need to do to find the standard, if we're looking for benzene, the standard enthalpy formation of benzene, it's equal to the sum of the coefficients in front of the delta H standard formation of the products minus the, the sum of the coefficient in front of the standard enthalpy change formation for the reactants. Oops, excuse me. Cool. So if we got all of that, we can actually make this a lot easier. So looking back at our equation, we're looking for the sum of the enthalpy of the products minus the sum of the enthalpy of the reactants. In that case, the products are carbon dioxide and water. So we're going to write equals the sum of 6 times the enthalpy standard formation of CO2 plus three times the standard enthalpy of formation of water. And all of that, let me put a little bracket around these guys, minus the reactants, which in this case, all I really need to do is benzene, which is one times the standard enthalpy of formation of C6H6. And that is actually going to give me the answer in this case. So this is really not that hard since the values are already given to me. This is equivalent to 6 times negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole of reaction plus three times negative 285.8 kilojoules per mole of reaction and this is going to give me let me do the calculations really quickly so for this first value I'm going to get negative 2361 kilojoules per mole of reaction plus a negative 
857.4 kilojoules per mole of reaction. Now, when I sum those two together, I'm going to get a total of 3,000, negative 3,218.4 kilojoules per mole of reaction minus 49 kilojoules per mole of reaction. And my answer becomes much easier. A total of the standard enthalpy of formation for benzene is going to equal negative 3,267.4 kilojoules per mole of reaction. And that is your answer.